went from a period of curriculum fragmentation to now all of a sudden we have sets of materials. People are going to now focus on teaching differently, but within the context of a rich set of materials that enables us to engage students in learning mathematics in a way that's uh, more engaging, that's more thought provoking, that gets the students up and involved in learning the mathematics and the teacher being skillfully facilitating and helping to support the learning. So we moved to a professional development program that uh, focused specifically on using these materials and the pedagogy attached to it. That program we called Toward a New Normal in High School Math Instruction and we've been embracing this new normal for the past four years. We brought author Sherry Frazier out to help support the professional development. She's been amazing in terms of getting people excited. Um, we've had some other folks that she's brought into the work to help support. People that have taught the curriculum and know the curriculum deeply and really can help our teachers transition to teaching differently, you know, finding a different way to engage students in learning. At first I was actually pretty skeptical of changing to changing curriculums. I was um, taught traditionally, had been teaching traditionally. Uh, I didn't really know a lot about uh, research into uh, sort of what, how students learn mathematics or what best practices were. So I assumed that if kids sort of followed the same path that I took, they would learn math in similar fashion. So I think part of the, the power in IMP, and I know now that it, research supports it, is that they offer these problems in context, all of them, and they don't jump to the formal mathematics right away. And the research that's out there really supports the way IMP does this, which is have the kids engage informally with a context so then when they eventually get to the formal mathematics, they have that anchor point in their brain to, to tie that back to. And try to find the maximum amounts and put it on the same graph and then see where that leads us. They really take ownership and, and we see this that amount of agency they have is just something I've never seen before. We realized it was always one less than a square number and that the square number that it was one less than was one more than this. So we put that into an equation and it worked. So I've seen an improvement especially I'll say over a, a longitudinal basis as far as I actually see some of these kids junior year, senior year and it used to be they never remembered anything. And now I'm seeing kids remember almost with 100% accuracy. IMP was completely problem-based and really engaging. So it allowed for problems where we thought the kids would really get into the math. They would ex be excited about doing and problem solving. The initial reaction is that if it's the square root of two, then we would have to find a number that cubed. One of the dilemmas in a traditional curriculum that we had was that we had students that were sort of bored, tired, um, and disengaged from the mathematics. One of the big shifts we've seen, most profound, is that we don't have what I like to call sleepers in the classroom anymore. There's nobody that puts their head down and doesn't engage. The problems pull them into the math. Two to the fifth power is 32, and two to the negative fifth power is 132nd. And it's the same all the way. And they might not even like math, but they do math and they enjoy it and they enjoy their time here. And so by the end of four years through IMP, we're finding kids saying, man, I'm really, I'm good at math and I like it. Whereas we might have lost them in a traditional curriculum. So my long-term studies of students learning in high schools um, involved students in IMP classrooms and uh, the students who went through IMP were so different to the kids who went through the traditional approach. They were confident, um, they had a belief that they could see any math problem and solve it. So really different approach to math, they had different ideas about what math was. I would say that IMP is the best high school curriculum that I know of that really takes a problem solving approach. I think the problems are very nicely written. I love the idea of giving students a big problem which they can't solve and then having them work towards the solution of that. So. Certainly in all the classrooms we've worked in and watched and researched, we've found great engagement and mathematical thinking and work. So yeah, I'm a big fan. What we're doing is aligned with what the Common Core asks us to do because, because of IMP. That's why we're in good shape in math. Because the practices that this curriculum demands are lined up right next to the practices that Common Core demands.
It's very obvious that uh, we have huge math failure across the country. We have workers who aren't prepared. People are realizing it's time for change. If we really want these kids to compete in the global uh, economy, we need problem solvers. We need perseverers. We need kids who are, who are willing to tackle problems and think about them logically and, and systematically and, and work within a team structure uh, to, to solve the solutions that are going to make them successful in the 21st century. This isn't just for the success of our individual students. As a country, for us to be successful, we need to change the way we teach math in this country.